So today I'm in the kitchen at Le Cordon Bleu and I'm going to show you how to make another one of my skinny dishes. This time in Japan. We're going to do a miso soup. We're going to add some noodles to it to make it a little bit more hearty and then we're going to add a bunch of great vegetables. We're going to add some mushrooms and some edamame, some scallions and a little bit of tofu for, for some extra protein. It's going to be fantastic. Here's how we're going to start it. Just add a little bit of olive oil to your pan. Start it warming up. Now we're just going to add a little bit of garlic first to let it sweat, to let it bring out the aroma just a tiny bit. It's going to enhance our miso a little. We're going to create the soup with just a little bit of chicken broth and water. You can do all water if you, don't, if you are a vegetarian and don't do chicken broth, or you can use a vegetable broth as well, or a combination. I like to go half and half so it kind of lightens up the chicken flavor, and it really is just more of a background flavor, more of the depth in, in the broth itself. Now I need my miso paste. I'm probably going to use quite a bit of this miso paste because I like it to be quite flavorful and flavored with that miso. Um, I'll add half of it first, stir it in, and then I'll taste it, make sure that I like the flavor and see if I need to add a little bit more. A couple of other little ingredients I'm going to add to help the, the flavor of the miso is just a little bit of soy sauce. Of course, this is going to act as our salt. Just a little spill in there. As well as a little bit of fish sauce, which is the other secret ingredient, which is going to add a lot of depth. It also adds a little bit of salt, saltiness as well, but it adds this amazing, amazing depth. Now here's the easy part. This is why the soup is great. It happens in like 10 minutes, maximum. All you have to do now is add the rest of these really flavorful ingredients that are going to be, you know, the base of, the base of your heartiness here. So I'm just going to add all of these shiitake mushrooms. These are fresh shiitake mushrooms that have just been sliced and they're just going to go straight into this pot. You could use dried shiitakes as well. If you were going to do that, you would perhaps soak them, strain them or pull, pull the mushrooms themselves out and you could use that broth from the mushrooms to make this soup even more of a more mushroomy flavored soup. I'm also going to add the tofu now. This is an extra firm to tofu. You could use a firm tofu or an extra firm tofu. Any of them will work. Um, I like to add this fairly early on um, rather than waiting because, you know, to tofu needs a little bit of help. It's not super, super flavorful on its own, so it will absorb all of the flavor from your mi miso broth that you've just created. That's why we create that broth first, then add the tofu and let it suck up all that goodness. And then I'm going to wait for just a minute on the edamame. Those are going to go in last. You know, you can buy those. Uh, in, the, in the freezer section, they're already shelled and they take no time to cook. They're, they're ready to go, they just need to warm through, so we're just going to wait a second for that. And there's one more thing that I'm going to add, and that is the udon noodles. So, I have my noodles here, and I'm just going to throw them right in the pot. I want those guys to cook all the way, and when the mushrooms are finished cooking, I mean, we, the mushrooms are, you can eat mushrooms raw, right? So if they don't have to be super cooked down, we don't want them to be mush. Uh, by the time the udon noodles are done, the mushrooms are going to have a nice texture still. The tofu will have absorbed all of that yummy flavor from the miso. And then we're going to toss in the edamame, finish with a little garnish, and that will be that. All right, so those babies are ready. Now I'm going to do is toss in my edamame. I told you they don't take very long. They just need to warm up. They're going to give us a little bit of color in there, too. They're going to be delicious. And we're ready. So first, I'm going to make sure I get a good amount of noodles in there, because we don't want to skimp on those. I love those sort of chewy, spongy udon noodles. They're so yummy. And then I'm going to get my ladle to make sure that I get enough broth and mushrooms, tofu, some of these edamame in here as well. I think they fell to the bottom. Come here. Come here, Edamame. There they are. Nice. And now I'm just going to finish with a couple little scallions. They're just going to be our little fresh pop. One more flavor component. And there we have it. Miso udon noodle soup.